I have quite a few weird-ass anecdotes from Hohenfels. I was there 2014-2015, and when I first got there, the barracks were being renovated. On BN staff duty, the NCOIC checked those barracks because of flickering lights we could see from the BNHQ entrance. Because it was being renovated, no one was supposed to be there. Long story short, a NCO kept chasing after lights, flickering on and off, but whatever he was chasing was stupid fast, like first floor to third floor to the other stairwell, back to first floor, etc. It was nothing super concrete, but weird nonetheless. Two homies from my PLT knock on my door at night, freaking out about their room and wanting to crash on my couch. Something grabbed their trash can, pulled it all out, and spread it all around their room. When they woke up, all they woke up to was trash everywhere. It could have been an animal or something, except they were on the third floor, which would have been a weird place. We had one PVT, crazy dude, should have never been allowed into the army, start spray-painting pentagrams on the inside of his barracks room window. His roommate saw this and saw the dude cutting himself. I ran downstairs to let CQ know. The dude was bonkers. The rumor was that the chaplain was asked to perform an exorcism on him. He got chaptered, I think. Unfortunately, he never got the help he needed and committed suicide. The craziest finds were in the box. Box witch stories aside, guys swear they found a cave with wrought iron bars set blocking the entrance. They were able to get someone in, and allegedly old boy found human bones, along with a skull that he kept hidden away once he took it. Pretty crazy. We all thought it was funny. I came across some weird sort of prayer circle in the land nav area. It could have been a camp way back when, but the dismembered toy dolls left there were weird. I remember getting a chill when stumbling upon it and going quickly. The boars in the land nav area chased guys all the time. We all hated night land nav. Red lens headlamps and empty M4s aren't a great defense against a spooked boar. Tons of guys willingly failed land nav after getting chased by the pigs. I swear all of Hohenfels was out to out us. The boars were giant there, too. A bunch of guys would always have sleep paralysis. Shadow people were sitting on their chest, staring at them, figures looking around corners at guys while they slept. Someone's door just clean fell off of their closet as if someone removed the hinges and unlocked the door. We always had those German maintenance guys fixing something. I guess the Nazi ghosts didn't like us. In Hohenfels, we have the Box Witch, but that has the same name everywhere. Legend had it that during WW2, there were towns in the training area with Germans living in them. As the alleys moved deeper and deeper into Germany, they were bombing villages and towns, including the one is in what is now the box. One of the towns had a little girl. She got caught outside and never made it to a shelter before the firebombs got her. Decades later, Hohenfels got set up as a NATO training base. Allegedly, a Polish soldier noted that he saw a little girl dressed in black during a training exercise. He didn't think anything of it and stuck around trying to talk to her. He disappeared and a massive search went underway for him. They found him on the other side of the box, dead and bloated within a day, a distance that he couldn't have possibly moved to on his foot power. So as the warning goes, if you see the girl in white, you have to help her with whatever request she gives you. If you see her in black, stay far away and get out of there. At least that's what we got told. I remember a National Guardsman that got augmented to us calling up that he saw a little girl in the box but it was some severe scuttlebutt and we are pretty sure someone put him up to it. Still, guys swear they had seen her before. 